Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. This time we're doing the plant. And uh, I realized the last time we played that I'd actually only, you know, most of the episodes were only actually a matter of like 10 minutes long. I'm going to try and shoot for a little bit longer, but especially early on with the amount of, you know, death that happens on my side of things, it's going to be a little bit harder, just because it's very hard to gauge, you know, how long an episode is. And usually I gauge it on how many times I've died, but when you die, you know, in a matter of seconds in this game, well, a little bit harder to gauge. Kind of said that. Okay, so, I get a shotgun. Beautiful. Up oh, and the level's already over. Hopefully I got all the stuff I needed. At the very least, we got a shotgun, so we can kind of just clear through everything there. Oh. No reason to shotgun those guys to death. Get some shells. And we have more ammo than when we started. Beautiful. Let's be careful here. Continue being careful. Because I prefer not to get hit. Let's see. Oh, and we leveled up. Perfect. Because, yeah, I would love to... I would love to, uh... I'd love to just speed through everything, but at the same time, I am not 100%... Uh, I don't know, comfortable with my skills at this game, and it's one of those where I just prefer to blast and bomb them all out. Yep, he did. And realistically, I'm using a pair of things that I probably don't need to, but whatever, it doesn't matter that much. Okay, so more HP. Tempting. Homing boats, bolts useless. Uh, snare fishes. I'm gonna go with more HP for medkits. It's probably more useful. Uh-oh. Okay, so first and foremost, it looks like my snare can only be cast on things that I can see. Ow. That makes sense. Also looks like I can cast that a fair amount. Uh-oh. Let's just fire grenades into everything. Ow. Up, oh, and we're dead. <sighs> I got stuck between a rock and a hard place. I need to clear those levels out a hell of a lot faster than I do. Otherwise, I end up in uh, terrible places. Oh, and let's stare at some people. Okay, so... Ow. Now, here's the question. Does the snare cost a bullet? The answer is no. So I can actually snare a lot. So I could potentially just fire both at the same time. It's tempting. It'd be cool if it actually did damage. It might even. Weird. Well, let's grab this stuff. We get a grenade launcher, at the very least. It's not bad. I am injured, though, which is not so good. There are a lot of bullets there, and I was not exactly... Yup, well, I'm, I'm going. I'm going places. I was not exactly paying attention to all of the things that I should have been. So I'm just going to fire a couple of cheeky grenades right into my own face. Note to self, shooting a cactus with a grenade, bad idea in life, does not contribute to survival in the slightest. So interesting, those yellow ammo boxes give you ammo based on whatever your current gun is, whereas the red ones tend to either give you a gun or give you a type of ammo you don't have. Ah, stop moving. There we go. Problem solved. We get a crossbow. Could be fun. Let's see. So, oh, no reason to use a crossbow against him. There we go. So, I'm not leveling here as much as I'm used to. Maybe it's because I was spoiled with what's-his-face. Probably shouldn't be so freaking... I probably shouldn't be so particular with, uh, you know, hitting enemies and being conservatory is or conservative as far as ammo goes we're only on stage two here which is good because it means that the boss is not going to come popping out of nowhere to surprise me with his face and stuff i'm gonna get the pop gun instead and we're gonna grab all these things beautiful okay pop pop motherfucker uh shoot don't want to get hit here Let's slow him down a little bit because I mean, I really could just pistol him to death. There we go, and we're good. So what do I get? Kills regenerate ammo, tempting. Enemies touching you take damage, also tempting. Most hit bullets become ammo, tempting. Some kills regenerate HP. I think we all know what we have to go with, considering HP is a hard thing to come by in this game. It's a rare thing to come by, come to think of it. Freaking pop gun, pop gun time. Nope, uh-oh. I think the bandit leader is actually about to show up, so I'm gonna be a little bit risky here. I hate being risky. I hate being risky business. Uh, uh, shit's happening, and I'm not entirely sure if it's good or not. Okay, well, oh, there he is. So I guess he pops up from over there. Well, let's see if I can kill the slug lord. Actually, it looks like he's largely distracted up there for some reason. He's not bothering me. That Ow. 
God damn it, I just backed up into all of those bullets. Oh, it doesn't matter that much because we can just keep going around. Shoot these guys. Oh, I already got slugs. I hate the slugs. Uh, if you haven't seen my thumbnail, take a look at it. I put my least favorite... Ah, yeah, we didn't... War as hell. Hell yeah, it is. Uh, interesting. This is not the same flower. Weird. Well, let's just laser pistol him to death. And we get some energy for it. Beautiful. Thank you. Because I like energy. Doink. Doink. Okay, so there are some doings, there are some victories here, but we are getting a fair amount of ammo for this. I think I'm playing as the female variant, interestingly enough. I do kind of wish that the... Yep, oh, hello. I do kind of wish that the uh, vine thing would actually just grow instantaneously out of where I was shooting, but it doesn't. Not the end of the world. Freaking cactuses blocking all my lasers. No, I don't like it when they do that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. Yep, well, and there we go. Oh, there wasn't anything left behind. Okay, mutate later? Nah. Uh, hmm. 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 Let's actually mutate later. Let's see if that actually gives us a better boost if we level up late. Like, if we actually are patient here. Or, could be completely worthless. That's an armored slug thing. That's inherently concerning. Maybe my lasers will prevail here? The one... Oh, 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 ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. There's terror in these halls. Let's see if I can... Oh, and he's dead. Let's get all this stuff before it uh, disappears. I've never seen that enemy before. And unfortunately, I think we're on level 3 here. So there is some amount of concern that... Ow. Oh, God, slugs. I completely forgot about them. I just kind of walked through it being like, sweet loot. Bad idea, Wander. Bad idea. We only, we only have one hit point left. I hope that we somehow prevail here. Uh, well, being conservative with ammo is more or is less important than uh, survival, so uh, I'll deal with that in a second. Who's the bandit leader? I'm honestly a little bit impressed that he didn't pop up. Does he show up? Oh, okay, he shows up the next one. Homing bolts, enemies touch you, take damage, more speed. None of these are useful. Damn. Okay, so I think patience... Oh, I see. Higher rate of fire, less enemy HP. It's probably going to be the best thing in this situation. I don't even know. Honestly, I'm terrified, though, of practically everything in this scenario. Let's switch guns. Switch the pop gun. Because... Nope. Whoa. Okay. I don't entirely know what's shooting so much at me, but there's a lot of things up there. Oh, bandit leaders. up. Oh, that's who's shooting at me. Well, let's hide behind these just for a second. Just keep popping off for a bit. Yeah. Ideally, would like to take some of these guys out. Oh, and they were dead. Damn. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. So first and foremost, patience is only worthwhile if there's nothing better. Which, I guess in that situation, there really was not much better. I'm definitely missing the flesh man's attack ability. Because, as like, I can see the tactical purpose of the vines here, but at the same time, not overwhelmingly. There we go. Oh, nope. Just pissed off the slugs, did not actually just kill them. You'd think an explosion would kill all the slugs inside the rotting corpse. Nope. Oh, well, doesn't matter that much. Because things are, things are still going all right here. Sort of. Ish. Let's get that. Kill these guys. Give me a laser pistol. Beautiful. It doesn't look like there's anything up there, so I don't think I missed out on much. Let's switch guns. Uh-oh. It's one of those harder scorpions. Oh, jeez. Uh. Let's see if I can murder his face. There we go. With laser pistol. Laser pistol seems to have done a fantastic job of it. Beautiful. Let's see if I can vine him. Ah. Ooh. The screen gets kind of wiggly whenever I miss. Oh, well, let's just murder his face. Managed to murder. Beautiful. I kind of wish... Oh, jeez, I almost got hit by those, and I wasn't even paying attention. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna switch for the slugger, because I very much like the, uh, the bouncing bullets. And they also do a fair amount of damage. We get some shells. Beautiful. I'd love a shotgun, though. What the fuck? Oh. 
there were a bunch of mutant slugs in there and I took a amount of damage. Okay, that was dumb. So I'd love to get... I'm going to have to go with Scary Face. Oh, we leveled up twice. Higher ammo max, full health, and some ammo. That's very tempting. Eh, let's do it. Because energy weapons do more damage. I mean, it's potentially useful, but I don't use a whole... God damn it, I walked right into that bullet. I'm a moron. I've mismanaged everything here. I, I don't know. I must be fatigued or something. For, oh, Jesus. Boss time. Freaking slugs not dying when they should. Okay, he's dead, and we can help back from him. Beautiful. So that actually means we can get on to the next level. No problem. A note to self. Nope, 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 nope. I should probably try playing this with a controller, come to think of it. Could be interesting. Never tried it. Let's actually send some of that down there. And actually switch away from the laser pistol. It's almost out of ammo. Oh, hey. He's dead. Oh, and we've hit max shell, so there's no reason why... Oh, grab that. No reason why I shouldn't. So, we're going on to the sewers. Unfortunately, we don't have a melee weapon. And those rats... Well, they're a lot easier to deal with when you got... Those. I guess they're also a lot easier to deal with. Oh, what the shit? Uh, something exploded. And it hurt a lot. In such a way that I don't really appreciate. Let's see if we can murder the frog. Okay, so we hit level 4. So if I can get... Oh, okay, so those big guys explode. Oh, jeez, that's like some kind of rat king going on here. Let's see if we can do a fair amount of damage to him from a disc. God damn it, I got shotgunned in the face. Oh, well, let's try that again. I want to make it farther. I want to get my nuclear throne mojo back. But I don't have it right now. Did I? I, I couldn't have been playing this with the controller previously, I don't think. Unfortunately, I played this a couple of days ago. You know, I, I bought it and I was just like, why not? Let's let's get up in this nuclear throne. Because I realized this game's not going on sale for an inordinate amount of time. Uh, freaking... God damn it. Missed out on gun and a fair amount of experience. That's what I get for being kill crazy. Okay, but yeah. I generally only buy games if they're on sale or if they're absolutely brand new. That didn't work out very well for me. And in this case, it's still early access, and they've been very good at never putting it on sale, so I figured eventually, why not? I also love my roguelikes. Yep, I'm gonna stay away from that. Freaking spitter scorpions. Darn jerks. I guess there's no reason for me to be terribly conservative with my ammo here, because you get a fair amount as this game progresses. I'm just gonna fire a bunch of shots up here, clear these guys out. I think I left some enemies down below for me to mess around with. Also, don't know what the crown does. Maybe it's a buff. Oh, it's one of those things. Well, let's get the ammo over here. Take out the last of the maggots. Beautiful. And there we go. I like the music, too. I'm a little bit disappointed this game doesn't actually have, um... Hmm. Disappointed this game doesn't have widescreen mode. Okay, so higher rate of fire. HP gets lower. It's one. Ammo max... Or no damage from explosions and fire when under 50% health. I'm gonna do that? I don't know, I've gotten killed by a fair amount of explosions in my days. So, I think this is still only stage two. But it could be wrong. It does feel like stage three. Also feels very heavily bullet shootery right now. And it's not appreciated, especially considering how imprecise movement can be. At the very least, using cover actually helps substantially. There we go. Let's grab these. And I did, I did in fact grab the slugger. Okay, so we got that. I'm just not using it for no apparent reason. Oh. oh. Ow. I'm kind of impressed. I haven't taken that much damage here. I wanted to get the shotgun and it just was not letting me have it. Oh, we might actually only be on stage two. Oh, let's just murder his face. And I don't actually see anything else here. Weird. Where are... Oh, it's one of you. Oh, now he's dead. And now we're going to the stage three. Okay. We didn't level up, though. Disappointing. Well, let's just fire some shotgun shots. Honestly, having the shotgun is tantamount to victory. Oh, just keep hiding. Because having the shotgun means you can uh, kill everything in a zone. I don't know where the boss is. Okay, now I know where the boss is. 
it's just not a very convenient spot for me to get to. Sort of. Let's get the XP while we're here. Crossbow's not useful for us. At the very... Oh, where the hell did you come from? Ow. Ow. God damn it. <sighs> Got distracted by an enemy in a really bad spot, and, uh, well, didn't end up working out w well for me. Oh, well. You learn your mistakes. Sort of. Not really. Oh. God damn it. Freaking, these guys have a lot of health. Don't appreciate. And, I mean, note to self, don't actually be conservative with your ammo here. There's no reason to be conservative with your ammo. Let's freaking kill everything in our way. What is that? Oh, sledgehammer. Oh, nope. Please just be sitting here. Beautiful. Because now we got a machine gun and a sledgehammer, which is actually going to be pretty useful for things. Because it means we're going to be able to shoot long distances, but also switch to melee if need be. So, for example, freaking slugs. There we go. And we level up. Nice. Okay. Nope. That's not a situation where I want to be sledgehammering things. But this might be. Ow. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> wow. That was a uh, surprise. I was thinking, it was like, ah, I can just ledge hammer them to death. And apparently, no, running into enemies makes you take damage in this game. Honestly, I don't like it when that is actually a game mechanic. This is like, if it's, uh, oh, hey. If, if it's like an enemy that doesn't specifically have spikes or whatnot, it should actually have like a specific attack instead of you just taking damage, right? Right. Unfortunately, this game is way too fast paced for me to make a, uh, to me, for me to make a whole lot of, you know, commentary on game mechanics and design and stuff. You know, Tower of Guns slows down a little bit, but this game, nonsense, crazy mode, super speed mode, activate, fast, happy, question mark. Oh well, I'm just, I'm just saying words at this point, guys. I'm just saying words and things are happening. Assault rifle. Fucking love assault rifles. Bam, motherfucker, you're dead. Bam, you're dead. Bam, you're dead. Freaking rocket the raccoon. That actually, he would be an amazing character in this game. And by amazing, I mean he practically should be. A little bit disappointed that they didn't make an homage raccoon type character, but then again, uh, it doesn't surprise me that much that Flambeer just kind of does his own thing. Don't want to get close to that. Okay, so we get some explosives and we get last of EXP. Apparently, there's still an enemy running around. Don't. Oh, there he is. Is that it? That's it. But I think we got everything in the stage and we can level up. So we probably want. Scary face. We're full health, and, uh, whoa. Okay. Ow. Ooh. I thought I could avoid that. I couldn't. Oh, freaking maggots. Freaking, wow. Things can go downhill quickly in this game, unlike many other games. I mean, a lot of games can, but this one just doesn't give you much warning. Oh, and now it's empty, which is a problem. Oh, better get this. Okay, there we go. Freaking maggots coming out of nowhere. Wow. Ultimately meaningless. Let's get this, and looks like there's a shotgun over this direction. So, we can not switch. Okay, there we go. So, our health is actually doing fairly alright. Not entirely sure what's... Oh, it's one of those guys. I'm gonna be really disappointed if I die here. Okay, there we go. And we're good. When did these guys even become a thing? You'd, you'd think after, you know, a load of runs the other day, I would, uh, you know, know about them. But nope. Okay, so we've just got one of the guy. Let's just murder his face. Get over here, get the ammo box. And actually, we're not done yet, interestingly enough. Who is the last enemy that I haven't found yet? Is it one of those rotting corpses? Oh, it's you. Freaking dude in the corner. Of course it would be the dude in the corner. And we're going to the sewers. Okay, so what, I, what can I do? Nope, that's not very useful. Damage taken is dealt to all enemies on the screen. Tempting. Or item drops. Probably the most useful. I think it increases our chances of a med pack. And we need that pretty freaking bad. Freaking king rat. Get out of my face. Oh, jeez, he spits rats at us. That's his attack. Don't like it when they do stuff like that. Okay. Being careful. Being safe. I have an amount of shotgun shots here, but I'm trying to make do without them. Because, uh, the, an amount does not count as a lot. Holy crap, that was close. 
Okay. That, okay, now we can switch over to the shotgun if we want to. And honestly, if I run into another king rat, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because, or just this situation. Because we got a lot of things around here that I don't like fighting. Mostly exploding frog creatures and copious quantities of rats and some dude that's shooting at me. Oh, never mind, he's dead. Rats are dead too. Okay. They do no Ooh. Flame shotgun. Yes. Please, cherry on top. Thank you very much. Put a bow on it. Okay. Man, they're coming out of nowhere. And uh, we're out of here. Perfect. So we get a mutation. Shells bounce further. Tempting. Uh, health and some ammo? No. Stronger attack power. Attract power. Oh, that's for the XP. Let's go with shells bounce fast farther, considering we are, in fact, using the flame shotgun. For fun and parties. Uh, I did kill them in the corner, right? I think I did. Kind of hard to tell. They just kind of come and go as they please. Well, don't put your face in it, Wander. Okay. Nope. Nope. They got... Oh, God damn it! The cars explode. I forgot about that. Ah, it always happens. That always happens. All right, one more run. For better or for worse. Actually, if it's like incredibly pitiful and I die within seconds, then less so. But I think we should be fine. Freaking maggot. <laughs> one problem with this game is as soon as I got the mojo uh, down, I'm pretty much ready to stop because my fingers are tired from all the shooting and the death and the... No, there's a chest over there. Oh, well. Probably just add ammo in it. It's not one of the gun chests. Nope, nope, nope. Dodge bullets, dodge bullets, hide behind things. Okay, I mean, that's pretty much the point of this game. Dodge bullets, hide behind things. Dodge bullets, hide behind things. Not exactly doing a very good job of it. Actually, I'm already half health. Whoops. Uh, well, like I said, for better or for worse, ending on, a, ending on a note. Not the note I want, but hey, at the very least, we level up if we make it out of here. Just murder our way through. Hey, sledgehammer. Melee run. I wonder how effective this is going to be. Probably not. Not very. I don't know. Oh. One of you guys. Oh. Wait a second. Hey, it worked. Just got to be very careful with those. Okay, so. Uh, corpses fly and hit harder. Mutate later. I'm going to go with scare your face. Lower enemy HP. Very tempting thing to have. Ow. <laughs> Ah, I walked into every single one of those. Honestly, this game would be kind of nice if it had the uh, temporary inv invincibility after getting hit, but then again, it'd be, uh, it would be might make the game a little bit too easy. Either way, I will see you guys on the next episode of Tower of, Gun Tower of Guns. What am, I, what am I even talking about? This is Nuclear Throne. By the way, sorry about uh, saying Runers on episode two. I just I play too many roguelikes. Uh, Tower of Guns, Runers. At some point I'll say Dungeons & Dreadmore, even though I've never actually managed to record that game. Either way, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Nuclear Throne. There we go, I got it. And as always, thanks for watching.